Hello, this is your Express Briefing for Tuesday, October 1st. From the San Antonio Express News, I'm Joy Marie Scott. Become a subscriber and read more of these headlines at expressnews.com. Bear County Commissioners are set to review a list of 29 candidates who apply to replace Michelle Barrientes Vela as Precinct 2 Constable. We're also catching up with the San Antonio native Shea Serrano ahead of his new book release. In sports, Brandeis takes on Stevens in high school volleyball. Expect cloudy skies in the morning before some afternoon sun and a high of 95. September heat in San Antonio broke plenty of records. San Antonio will be coming off its hottest summer on record when city officials meet Wednesday to review SA Climate Ready, the city's climate action and adaption plan. The monthly mean average temperature was clocked at about 85.8 degrees Fahrenheit, breaking the 108-year-old record of 84.6. September was also a record breaker based on the average of daily maximum temperatures, which was 96.6 through Sunday. San Antonio is poised to adapt the climate plan later this month. August was the second warmest on record, and the combined August and September is the warmest measured. Looking to avoid credit card skimmers at gas stations? Good luck in Texas, at least. A new state law gives the Texas Attorney General authority to create rules for merchants to prevent skimming, but it also makes information in skimmer reports confidential, including the address of where the device was found. Lawmakers and police say skimming is rampant across Texas. The provision has stirred debate about whether withholding the information could leave people vulnerable to credit card fraud. Add HEB to the list of stores pulling e-cigarettes from their shelves. The San Antonio-based company has stopped selling the products at their stores in light of growing scrutiny and a spate of lung ailments apparently related to them. Lawmakers are evaluating how to rein in the industry. Rite Aid and Walmart are among other large retailers that have removed e-cigarettes from their shops. The NBA's Western Conference looks a whole lot different than it did a year ago. The Spurs, not as much. After a summer that saw eight all-stars change teams, the Spurs are hedging their bets on continuity. To keep their 22-year playoff streak intact, most of their improvement will have to come from the likes of DeJounte Murray, Derek White, and Lonnie Walker IV. Also, at the team's annual media day, Greg Popovich said the Spurs were blindsided by Marcus Morris backing out of a deal this past summer. He also said he doesn't expect Tim Duncan's tenure as an assistant to last very long. LaMarcus Aldridge rolled his eyes at the suggestion he spent the summer adding new wrinkles to his game. And that's okay, writes columnist Mike Finger. Consider a subscription to the Express News, the voice of South Texas since 1865. Just 95 cents for the first month, a digital subscription helps support our work covering San Antonio and South Texas. You'll get access to all our stories on expressnews.com. Join us at expressnews.com slash subscribe. And in other news to know today. Baked goods maker FGF Brands is considering a $129 million expansion of its San Antonio manufacturing operations that would add 600 new jobs on the west side. San Antonio oil and gas businessman Brian Alfaro lost his appeal in an $8 million bankruptcy judgment. Texas Republican and U.S. Representative Kevin Brady likened House Democrats' impeachment inquiry to a coup. 
House Democrats want Rudy Giuliani to turn over documents related to Energy Secretary Rick Perry's involvement with Ukrainian leaders last spring. Sochi Hurtado was named Chief Operating Officer for Methodist Healthcare Ministries earlier this year, but the Northeast Side native took a winding path through South Texas to end up back home. A member of the Texas Army National Guard was sentenced to 15 years in federal prison for trying to entice minors online for sex. The owner of Life Care Hospital of San Antonio, a 62-bed long-term acute care facility in the South Texas Medical Center, is selling the specialty hospital. The Second Baptist Church on the east side has signed a $3.2 million lease with a for-profit company to house up to 90 migrant boys ages 11 to 17. 70 University of Texas students face discipline for group message about an exam. A professor's email headed, quote, a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day for many of you, end quote went viral as students reacted to the launch of a disciplinary investigation. Visit expressnews.com for the full story on all of these headlines and more. And now the fun stuff. All the steps for roasting a pig at home. We followed a San Antonio chef who cooked a 230-pound pig in a makeshift cinder block pit. And at home, are you looking to downsize for a move downtown? Richard Marini has tips on how to plan. And a new Southside barbecue joint is staying true to its name. Food writer Chuck Blount has the This is Just a Taste review. And that's your Express Briefing for Tuesday, October 1st. Get San Antonio's top news headlines daily. Subscribe on Spotify, Apple, or wherever you get your podcasts. For the San Antonio Express News, I'm Joy Marie Scott.